dear students in the previous two classes we have just discussed the fundamentals so in today's class i'm going to discuss series and parallel networks means what what will be the properties of this series network and what will be the property of parallel network? first we'll discuss series networks which network we call it as a series network any two elements are said to be in series if one end of both elements are connected to a node without any other elements connected to that so meaning is if at all two elements are connected to a node only those two elements should be present at that node and no other elements should be connected to that particular node then we can say that those two elements are in series like say here if you see here there are two elements this is the first element and this is the second element the first element uh, one terminal is connected to second element another terminal whereas the first element to one terminal and second element other terminal both are left open there are they might be connected to some other uh, terminals or some other elements we least bother but to say that element 1 and element 2 both are connected to connected in series what is important is here into this node there should not be any other elements right so and it's a very important dear students so there should be same current flowing through both the elements without any current division or addition like say for example if at all i am going to add any current here say for example i let us consider a current i will flow through this then same current i should flow through this element also. right say here uh one more important thing is in general if there are n elements to be connected in series then if they are connected end to end like say for example here if you see there are n number of elements which are connected series end to end like say for example first element is connected to second second element is connected to third this is we can connect any number of elements like this where say 1 2 3 4 5 5 all five elements are connected in series and current through all the five elements will be same the whatever the current will be there through first element same current will flow through each and every element uh, in the series next say so if you see here then uh, the second one is parallel network any two elements are said to be connected in parallel if two ends of both elements are connected to each other as shown in below figure like here dear students if you take a two terminal device any two terminal device both the end of one terminal should be connected both the end of one element should be connected to say two more terminals of another element like say for example this is one element this is second element two terminals of this have been connected to other two terminals of second element okay say so here if i pass any current through this first terminal this current will divide between element 1 and element 2 and here both the current current from element 1 and element 2 will add up giving a total current at this end okay say so now there will be same voltage important thing dear students in case of series network there will be same current through in a series network whereas in case of parallel network there will be same voltage across all the elements which are in parallel the current will divide in a parallel network whereas across the elements there will be same voltage in case of parallel networks okay so as i told main current will divide means if this is a main current some i it will divide between all the branches which are connected in parallel now uh, in general i told elements in series and elements in parallel now i am going to tell what if the resistors specifically that element means resistors if resistors are in series like say here if you see when two resistors are connected in series the equivalent resistance is given by sum of both the resistors like here if you see r1 and r2 two resistors which are connected in series then r equivalent between this end and this end is given by sum of individual resistance that is r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 right so now if there are n number of resistors connected like this in series then equivalent resistance of the combination is given by 
sum of all individual resistance. So if you see here, say let us consider there are n number of resistances which are connected like this, like R1, R2, so on to Rn. Then equivalent resistance between this end and this end, the first end and the last end is given by R equivalent is equal to, it is R1 plus R2 plus so on to plus Rn means sum of all individual resistances, right? So as I told dear students, there will be same current flowing through each of these resistance. If the main current is high, the same main current will flow through all the resistance in case of a series network. And what about voltages and currents in a series network? As I already told, say, in case of current, say, let us consider there are n number of resistors here, R1, R2, so on to Rn, n number of resistors which are connected in series. And across those n number of resistors, there is a voltage source of Vn giving a current I. Okay. So as I told you students, in a series network, the same current will flow through each and every element. Okay. So if this is a main current I, this current will flow through a resistor R1. You can see a current I here. And even through a resistor R2, there is a current I. Even through a resistor Rn, there is a current I. Back that current will flow through the network. Okay. So where is voltage? In case of voltage, whatever the applied voltage is there across the series network, it will be divided between all the resistors. Like see here, there are n number of resistors means the Vn, which is an input voltage or voltage across the series network, will be divided among all the resistors. Like a V1, V1 part of a Vn will appear here, V2 part of Vn will appear here, so on to Vn part of a Vn will appear here. So which resistors will get a more potential or voltage, which across which resistor there will be less potential or voltage, it depends upon the value of resistance. If the value of resistance is lesser, across that particular resistor, there will be less voltage. If a value of resistance is more, across that particular resistor, there will be more voltage. So how do you say that? Very simple, dear students. If you apply Ohm's law, I want to find a voltage across this particular resistance, R1. Then V1 is equal to I into R1. Across all these resistance, there will be same I, means current. Uh, I into R both un under product, say if R is more, the voltage will be more. If R is less, the voltage will be less. That's what. Say if the resistance is more, across that there will be more voltage. If the resistance is less, across that there will be less voltage. Okay. The current, uh, there will be same current flowing through each of the resistance connected in series. That's what I told. Current through R1 will be equal to current through R2 will be equal to so on, current through Rn. The applied main voltage will divide, divide among all the resistors of series connection. That's nothing but V in. The input voltage V in will be divided. Say it is given by v, V1 plus V2 plus so on to Vn. Right? So now, with this, we we'll discuss resistors in parallel. What if the resistors are in parallel? Say, dear students, something like this. This is the resistor R1 and this is resistor R2. Both are in parallel. Okay, say so two ends of resistor R1 has been connected to two ends of resistor R2. So this is how you should check, dear students. For series, you should check whether the current flowing to one element, the same current without adding and dividing, the same current will flow through the another element in case of series. Whereas in case of parallel, you should check whether both the terminals of one element have been connected to both the terminals of another element. Okay, then only you can say that it's a parallel network. So this is very important, dear students, keep this in mind. Okay, in case of parallel res uh, resistors, means when two resistors are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is given by, one by R equivalent is equal to, the equivalent resistance between these two terminals is given by one by R equivalent is equal to one by R1 plus one by R2. So, or say, you, if you take LCM, already you know this, R equivalent is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. If there are n number of resistors which are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is given by, it will be given by sum of all the resistors. Like say for example, here if you see, there are R1, R2, so on to Rn resistors which are connected in parallel. 
ओके द करे थ्रो आर वन एल बी सम आई वन करे थ्रो सम आर टू आर टू एल बी सम आई टू सो ऑन टू करे थ्रो आर एन एल बी सम आई एन सो वेन एन नंबर ऑफ रेजिस्टर्स आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल द इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस इज गिवन बाय वन बाय आर इक्वल एंड इज इक्वल टू वन बाय आर वन प्लस वन बाय आर टू प्लस सो ऑन टू वन बाय आर एन अक्रॉस ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स मीन्स रेजिस्टर्स द वोल्टेज विल बी सेम वॉट एवर द अप्लाई वोल्टेज वी Will be uh, it applied voltage will be there that will appear across this which we are going to see now. Means currents and voltages in parallel combination. Here you can see the uh, network dear students. There are n number of resistors which are connected in parallel. This is R one. This is R two. So on to R n. Across this parallel combination, there is a voltage V n giving the main current I. Okay. And this main current I will be divided into number of other currents through every branch. Like say, if this branch contains a resistor R1 and current through resistor R1 is I1, and this branch contains a resistor R2 and current through resistor R2 is I2. So on to this branch contains a resistor Rn and current through resistor Rn is In. Okay, all these currents here I will divide between all these resistors and all these currents will be adding, giving to. Giving a, a total current I back. Okay, so here uh, there will be same voltage across every resistance in parallel, and current will divide in a parallel network based on the resistance of every branch. That is very important, dear students. Let us consider here there is a current I. This current I will flow more through such resistor where the resistance is less. <clears throat> If the resistance is more across that, less current will flow. Let us consider there is a some branch where the resistance is infinity. Then, uh, uh, then uh, through that branch, the uh, there will not be any current. Means a zero current will flow through that particular branch. So, if there is a branch with a zero resistance, then all the current will flow through that particular branch. Okay. Let us consider here R one is equal to zero. Then, dear students, no current will flow through R two, and even no current will flow through R n because R one is zero. All the current will flow through. Flow across the resistance, a uh, resistor R one. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, the total current I will be divided across a number of uh, sub branches, giving I one is uh, I is equal to I one plus I two plus so on to I n. Right. So now with this, so we we are going to discuss two of the important uh, rule. One is voltage division rule. And another one is current division rule. Okay, so dear students, as I told, in case of series network like here, R1 and R2 both are in series. Okay, so because one end of R1 is connected to and one 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 end of R2 because of that, and no other elements are connected here. Don't say that, sir. Here there is a one element connected. No, dear students, it's not any element. It's just the extension of that wire. And through because it's not being connected to any other device, so there will not be any current flowing through this. Okay, so because of that, whatever the current will flow through a resistor R1, okay. same current will flow through okay. resistor R2. Okay, so because of that, so uh, here the voltage V V in which will be there across okay. resistor combination R1 and R2 will be divided between these two branches. Okay. So let me call a resistor across R1 as V1 and a resistor across R2 as a V2. And our intention is is here to find the voltage V1 and V2. For that purpose, we have a formula. If at all I want to find any branch voltage, branch voltage, like say voltage across R1 is it's one branch, and R2 is another branch. The moreover here there are two branches. One is R1 and another one is R2. Voltage across R1, if at all I want to find, that's a branch voltage V1, and this is a branch to branch voltage V2, and Vn is a main voltage. Okay, so any branch voltage is equal to main voltage, nothing but Vn into resistance of the branch. Means if at all I am finding a branch voltage V1, V1, then a resistance of that branch, like R1. If at all I am finding a branch voltage V2, then resistance of that branch, nothing but R2. Divided by sum of the resistances means in a series network how many resistances are there? All those resistances. 
Hope this is clear to all of you. Branch voltage is equal to main voltage into resistance of the branch divided by some of the resistances. Okay. Say so if you uh, so that is a say voltage division. Okay. Say so like uh, uh, if at all. Uh, so this one I'll take up on network and explain you. So before that we'll see even a current division rule also. Okay. Say. So, See, voltage, di voltage division rule in short it is called as VDR and current division rule in short it is called as CDR. Okay, here current will divide. In case of parallel network, as I told, the voltage will be same, whereas current will divide. Okay, so the main say same I means I is equal to I1 plus I2. Now, if at all I want to find a particular branch current, like say I want to find a I1, then branch current I1 is equal to main current. Say here main current is say for example I into resistance of other branch. Very important, dear students. In case of voltage division rule, resistance of the same branch where you are finding the branch voltage. Whereas in case of a branch current, you are supposed to take a resistance of other branch. Here there are two branches. So if you are finding the I1, then you should consider the resistance of other branch, which is nothing but R2, divided by some of the resistances. Hope this is clear too. Okay.